morning everyone and welcome to the Creative Life Studios. This is Carrie, and I'm super excited today to share with you a very quick, very fun, and super easy project that you can do using just one single sheet of 12 by 12 paper to make um, a mini album. And so this is actually a piece of paper from Graphic 45's Eerie Tale collection. It's called Enchantment and it's beautiful. It's got these great flowers and this fun stripe on the back side. Um, let me show you a quick finished product. This is one I actually made um, using Graphic 45's Twas the Night Before Christmas line. And as you can see, it fits right in my hand and you open it and it's got these just adorable little pockets in three sections. All right, so what do you think? Let's get started. So we're gonna take our paper and it's just a 12 by 12 piece of paper. And now if you're, oops, I should probably zoom out. Sorry about that. Um, if your paper has that little strip that has the barcode and stuff on it, make sure you trim that off. Now you're simply just gonna take your paper, fold it in half one way and line it up, smush it down. If you have a bone folder or whatever, you're the back of your scissors. I always like good crispy lines on my projects. And then I'm gonna take it, fold it, oh, unfold it. Probably should tell you what I'm doing. And then fold it the opposite way. Now, some people say that you can use your scorer for this, but you kind of run into a snafu if you've had that little strip on the side. And if you didn't trim it off just perfect, um, it can kind of mess with it. So in my book, this is just easier. All right, so we've got it like this. Now we're gonna take this flap, just fold it back so it meets back here and smush it down and then do the exact same thing on the other side take it lay it flat against your edge and smush it down and then take your bone folder or this is a popsicle stick but it gets the job done and do the exact same thing and you see you're going to end up with one two three four five six seven eight little squares now here's where you're going to grab your score this is where you do want to use a score because it does make this part a whole lot easier obviously mine is well loved now you're just going to take it lay it flat out and two inches from either side you're going to score a mark make sure it's laying flat or else you're not going to get your right mark so i'm going to go straight down at the 10 line and then i kind of find it easier just to flip it lay it down and score it at the 10 line again all right, now here's where you're gonna to have to make a decision which way you flip your paper. Which way you flip your paper is gonna determine what's your front and what's the inside of your um, paper. So whatever is facing up is going to become the inside of your book. So I want my flower to be the outside. So I'm just gonna fold this up. And as you can see, this is going to form the inside. This is going to be my pocket. Then you just flip it around. Do the same thing on this side. And we want the crispiness. So go ahead and do this. Perfect. All right, now we're going to crisp up that middle seam a little bit. Now this is the only cutting you're going to need to do on this project. You're just going to take it. it helps to kind of lay it flat so you can see your seams a little bit better and just cut straight down that middle seam. Now you're gonna cut three sections. So cut one, that's two, and then you're gonna stop when you get to this third crease that you can see I kind of bent down for you to see better. Perfect. Now I kind of like to go in and manhandle my folds a little bit just so they're a little bit more limber for this next step. Like that. All right, because then all you're gonna do you're going to take your little project here. You're going to grab it by the middle. And sometimes this works first try. Oh, it did. Yay. You're just going to take it, hold these together, push it in, and you're going to make this little star kind of thing. And then you're just going to take it, fold it flat. If you need to, make it feel better. Do this. Fold it. Just so you make sure your creases are all good. And... Fold it until you have the same on the front and the back. Perfect. Let me zoom in for you just a little bit. So you have your cute, cute little book with your little pockets. Now there's one more step. You'll see that there's a couple of places where it needs to 
be adhered. And we are just gonna, I won't go through all these. So you can, my glue is being difficult, of course. There we go. I'm gonna hold that down for just a second. And then you're just gonna go, this one's spine. See how this one is lifted? You're gonna glue that down. This one has a little right there. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do it. Either you can leave it like this, where this is accordioned back, and then if you wanna use the back of it. Um, I actually, on my other one, here it is. On this one, I actually glued it down so that I would have like an actual spine to my book. Um, but as you can see, I glued down all my little corners so nothing falls out whenever I put something in my little book. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this quick and fast and fun little project today. You'll find pictures to this one at the end of this video, completed with embellishments and stuff, and more pictures of this one too if you'd like to see more. So I hope you're having a wonderfully amazing day and I look forward to seeing what you do with this tutorial. Remember, you can always find me at www.thecreativelifear.blogspot.com. Have a great day. Bye. The heart that can't be broken is like trying to see the light with eyes that can't be opened. Yeah, we both carry baggage we picked up on.